Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to our channel, The Eaton Squad. My name is Eddie. So for today's video, this has been asked from me from several videos that I have already uploaded in the channel. How to exit the Philippines? What are the rules of a particular category exiting the Philippines? Because vacation is over or you want to go to another country for a vacation. So that's all on this video. Details coming right. So it's time to go home or it's time to go to another country. How do you exit the Philippines? If you are flying out as a Filipino tourist, flying out as a green card holder, flying out as a foreign national, flying out as a dual citizen or former Filipino. So how do you exit the Philippines? Is there a particular rule that you need to follow as a traveler when you exit the Philippines? So in this video, I have prepared specific documents that you guys need to fill out or it's required by a particular airline, required by the Bureau of Immigration, required during your check-in process at the airport exiting the Philippines. If you guys are ready, let's get started. So first is exiting as a tourist. So tourist, you are a Philippine passport holder going somewhere. Example, going to America or going to Singapore, going to countries that requires a visa. Here's your documents. Valid Philippine passport. Unfortunately, when you are exiting the Philippines, the six months rules apply. So make sure your passports are valid when you travel. Also, valid visa if you are going to a particular country that requires a visa before you leave. For example, the United States, you have to have a valid visa. Round trip ticket. As a tourist, this is required. So round trip ticket. Departure card. Departure card is given to you at the airport. So don't freak out that, hey, where am I going to get the departure card? You can get that at the airport before your immigration process. Travel and health insurance. So, leaving as a tourist, you must cover medically when you go abroad, just in case you get sick or you get infected of something. You can cover yourself when it comes to that. Always check the vaccination rules by the country of destination. So, I know everybody is already open, but it doesn't hurt to check if still a particular country is requiring a vaccination status and so on. So, please be mindful of that. Next is exiting as a green card holder. So, you are a green card or a permanent resident of a particular country. These are your requirements exiting the Philippines. Valid Philippine passport. Yes. You are still carrying a Philippine passport because you are a green card holder. Plane ticket. So your plane ticket to your next destination or going to your home country. Your green card, of course. That will be checked. Bureau of Immigration Declaration Form. This will be given to you at the airport during your immigration process. Departure card. This will be given to you as well at the airport before your immigration process. Philippine Passport Pays Travel Tax. Please check to all Philippine passport holders if you are required to pay travel tax, especially if you have stayed in the Philippines indefinitely. If you are outside of the U.S., for example, these are for green card holder. Less than a year, you will only need your green card or a returning resident visa to enter the U.S. If you will, however, be outside of the U.S. longer than one year, you will need to apply for the re-entry permit. So these are for green card holders. There's a limit for you to stay in the Philippines. That way, it doesn't look like you are abandoning your residency at the country where you are a resident of. So make sure to check how long you can stay. I just read the example for the U.S. So less than a year. If you go beyond one year, this requires a re-entry permit. Now exiting as a foreign national. So foreign nationals entering the Philippines wants to go to Thailand, wants to go to Hong Kong, or wants to go to Cambodia, or going back to the U.S. or Canada or Australia because the vacation is over, the visit is over. 
These are your requirements. Your foreign passport, of course. The Bureau of Immigration Declaration Form, which will be given to you at the airport. Departure card, same thing, given to you at the airport. Exit clearance. Please be very uh, mindful of this. If you have stayed in the Philippines six months or more, you have to apply for the exit clearance. The Bureau of Immigration now has a 24-7 one-stop shop. At Terminal 3, you can get that over there. Or you can get that at the Bureau of Immigration field offices. So, please take note because some will ask again, Miss Addy, I've stayed three months. Addy, I'm staying for two months. Addy, I'm staying for four months. If you are staying six months and more, that is the only time you will need the exit clearance. So, heads up for nationals, especially to those who are staying in the Philippines indefinitely. Exiting as a former Filipino. So, former Filipinos are actually under the category of foreign nationals. So, former Filipinos, these are Filipinos who went abroad, have naturalized abroad, but did not apply for dual citizenship. So, these are your requirements exiting the Philippines. Your foreign passport, of course. Bureau of Immigration Declaration Form, given to you at the airport. Departure card. Exit clearance. So, Former Filipinos are also required for an exit clearance if you have stayed in the Philippines for 18 months, one year and a half, or if you have already applied for an extension. Meaning, because as a former Filipino, when you enter the Philippines, you will be given one-year visa. So, you have already consumed your one-year visa, then you wanted to stay longer, you went to the Bureau of Immigration and applied for your extension. With that, when you leave the country, you will need an exit clearance. So please take note. So some may ask again, I stayed for nine months. I'm a former Filipino. I have the Balikbayan visa. You don't need the exit clearance. Like I said, 18 months and above. And the last category is exiting the Philippines as a first-time immigrant. So these are... For those who are on K-1, K-2 visa, CR-1 visa, or a spousal visa. So, you are leaving the Philippines for the first time or you were granted a visa as I have mentioned earlier. These are your requirements. Valid Philippine passport. So, the six months rule applies because you are headed to another country. Valid visa. So, if you are under K-1 or CR-1 or spousal visa you have to have the valid visa before you can leave the country the bureau of immigration declaration form which will be given to you at the airport as well as the departure card then the commission on filipinos overseas certificate or the cfo this is very important for first time immigrants you cannot leave the country without the cfo before, they will give you a sticker attached to your passport. That's what I had when I first left the Philippines as a K-1. But this time, they are giving you the CFO certificate. This time, they are doing the online because they don't do the face-to-face -face yet. They might resume very soon. But like I said, as a first-time immigrant, you have to have the CFO because you cannot leave the country without it. So take note, first time immigrants, like the K-1 visa or the fiancé visa, the spousal visa or the CR-1 visa. For any type of immigrant visa, you need the CFO. And that is how you exit the Philippines with the following category that we mentioned. I hope you guys have followed it. If you guys are one of those categories, those are the requirements that you need to prepare to leave the Philippines. And to those who have exited the Philippines just recently, especially for first-time immigrants, green card holders, former Filipinos, foreign nationals, even tourist visa holders, what are your experience? Is it a lot smoother this time than before? Or what are the documents checked during the immigration process or check-in process with the airline if you guys don't mind sharing i really appreciate it just comment it down below so this is our latest travel updates guys this time exiting the philippines not coming in if you need the protocols entering the philippines 
We have videos in the channel, the most recent travel protocols, documents that you need to enter the Philippines. Please check out the channel, everything is there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, or inquiries with regards to this video or in any of our travel related videos, please comment it down below and I will try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. Or you can direct message me in our Facebook page, same handle, the Eaton Squad. Again guys, thank you, thank you so much for the continued support and trust to our channel and to our family. I hope to see you on our next travel update. Stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless everyone. Bye.